guys, it's Angel. I am super excited for today's video because we are making bubble waffles. Now, if you guys don't know what bubble waffles are, they are also known as egg waffles. And in Taiwan, when you go to a bubble tea shop, you can usually order a snack called bubble waffles. They kind of taste like waffles, but they're a little bit different they, since they're egg shaped. They have a crispy taste or also they can also be chewy depending on how they're cooked or they can even be filled with mochi and the mochi ones are so, so good. So anyways, before we get started, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody who posted on my last video for 100,000 subscribers and thank you guys so much and also I wanted to say I will be posting a couple vlogs of my move and my new kitchen shortly, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so the first thing we'll need when making bubble waffles is, of course, the most important thing, the bubble waffle maker. Now I got one from Star Blue. Thank you Star Blue for sending me this. I love using this bubble waffle maker. It's super fun and easy to use. In addition, you'll need a few basic ingredients. You probably have them at home because they're fairly common for baking. So with that, let's get started in making bubble waffles. For the ingredients, I'm adding one cup of sifted cake flour, half a cup of cane sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of any neutral flavored oil, a splash of vanilla extract, two large eggs, and finally mixing all that together with one third cup of filtered water. Then mix everything together really well until the batter is super smooth like this. Next, preheat your waffle maker and when it's almost ready, spray a light coating of nonstick oil, let that heat up for another minute, then pour in your batter. I'm using just over half a cup of waffle batter. Then I'm going to close the lid, flip the waffle maker over, and let that cook for three to five minutes or until the bubble waffle is golden brown. When it's done, you'll want to take the waffle out and place it on a cooling rack, or you can put a spoon underneath it and let it cool for a few minutes so it doesn't get soggy. After it's cooled a few minutes, your bubble waffle will be ready to eat and serve. That is so good. The one downside to making bubble waffles at home is that you're gonna have a huge craving for boba, which I do right now. So after this, after I wrap up this video, I'm gonna head out and get myself a cup of bubble tea. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and post in the comments below and let me know if you wanna see different variations of bubble waffles. There's matcha bubble waffle, there's mochi stuffed bubble waffle, which is oh so good. And um, yeah, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next video, take care and I will see you guys soon. Bye.